When Dackham signed up to the Navy, he was single and living with his parents. But after a three and a half year waiting list to reach Raleigh, his circumstances have changed. I'm with a woman that I've been with for nearly three years that I love very much. <laughs> Um, and we have a child on the way also, which I found out two weeks before I come here, which is great news. Yeah, I'm in the Narnia room now. It's got about 30 blokes in it. What week are you going to take off and put your scan for? I didn't really want him to join. He knew that I wasn't happy about it. I made it very clear, you know. And if ever we kind of had heated discussions, it would be about the Navy, basically. <laughs> That's the only time we ever really, um, yeah kind of maybe disagreed. I think if you've been in six months, you qualify for a maternity leave, so... No, paternity leave or whatever. It was a bit like, I'm pregnant, see you later for 10 weeks. I'll speak to you later, yeah? Love you. Bye. It did cross my mind um, when I found out that Nicola was pregnant to not join the Navy. The thought of leaving her on her own at a very difficult time doesn't sit right with me, but my focus is to pass out at the end of 10 weeks and uh, then we can reassess the situation. Before joining the Navy, Dakin was a self-employed electrician. A few years ago, I was working on a fuse board and, and someone ran in and said, we need a first aider. So I thought, yeah, all right, I'll be a minute. The guy's probably cut himself or something. And I went outside and uh, there was a gentleman laying on the floor um, who had had a heart attack. I remember breathing into him and looking into his face and seeing his... Uh... <laughs> I only found out a few days later that um, he had died. I really struggled with it for, for a long time. I still do. Um, and for me, I thought, do I really want to save up, you know, work my nuts off, save up a lot of money and buy a flat and then get run over by a bus or have a heart attack like he did behind the wheel and, and you know, die having not lived? If you're on death's door, you need to be able to say you've done something great and for me, this is something great. It's, it's like a dream that I wanted for so long and I, I feel like it's not really the right thing to do anymore. I've got to be a man, you know, and, and realise I'm, I've got a kid on the way. Nicola and the baby lie deep in my heart, they really do. Is that the fingers open, isn't it? I know this is where I need to be.